Hi all, and welcome to the first video of section 4. We are going to describe how to create a simple web script in our Fresco repository. Our Fresco web scripts are a simple service bound to an URI which responds to an HTTP methods. We can construct data representation web scripts. Data web scripts encapsulate access and modification of content and data held in the repository, while presentation web scripts allow you to build user interfaces. In this demonstration, we'll create a simple document table web script, which will expose to the user a simple table with some documents found in a directory with custom property filled in. First of all, we need to create a web script descriptor. The XML file has different tags enclosed in a web script tag. There are short name and description tags used to give a name to the web script. URL tag specifies what relative path will the web script have. Authentication tag determines what kind of users can access that particular web script. We can also specify the default format response of the web script. According to the naming convention, we have to save the file with this format, scriptname.get.desk.xml, where script name is the web script name, get is the method, desk is the web script descriptor file, and xml is the file format. Then, we shall create a free market template. The naming convention is always the same, where instead of desk, we must put HTML with FTL extension. This tells Alfresco our web script is a free market template file with an HTML output. We can have different outputs with web scripts like XML, JSON, HTML, etc. Here, we're focusing on creating a simple HTML web script. As mentioned in the previous video, free market and HTML are very similar where FreeMarket can use variables and their values to all together with script code in line. FreeMarket code is specified with hash, so in FTL file, if we want to use a if statement, we'll write something like this. The name pattern of the HTML.FTL file must reflect the descriptor file name. Even if in this example we're using a JavaScript file for our web scripts, we can create web scripts without controllers, so they're optional. We should paste this code, and then we're ready to test it. Simply upload all three files in a directory, say test, inside the web script extension folder, inside data dictionary. It's recommended to use this path for development purposes only, otherwise web script files should be placed in Tomcat shared classes. Then, we shall refresh web scripts through this URL. It's recommended to use WCS instead of the most common service, just because if you start building more complex web scripts or make calls between them, you could get some authentication problems. Now, we can test our web script. If we connect to our test documents URL in Alfresco, so Alfresco WCS test script, we should be able to see a list of rows corresponding to documents of our controller Lucene result set. In the upcoming video, we'll see how to create some more advanced scripts.